advises the plaintiff, Stephanie Racchiopo. She says she purchased granite from the defendant and had him install it in her kitchen as a countertop. Over time, the granite started turning black. She purchased gray, wants gray, and the defendant won't remedy the situation. He obviously sold her some sort of fake granite. It's defective, and she wants the $3,000 she paid this crook returned. This is the defendant, John McMorrow. He says he's been in business for over 30 years and has never seen something like this. Almost three years ago, he sells the plaintiff a granite countertop, and when he asked her the last time she sealed it, she looked at him with a puzzled look. Granite is supposed to be sealed every six months, and it only takes five minutes to do. <laughs> he's sorry, but the plaintiff's lack of proper maintenance is the true cause of the plaintiff's granite stains. He's accused of staining a customer relationship. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff bought granite from the defendant, but it, it turned from gray to black. The defendant says she screwed up by not sealing it. It's the case of you didn't seal the deal. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, how do I pronounce your last name? Raciopo. Raciopo. Ms. Raciopo, you are suing JCM Granite, represented here by Mr. McMorrow? Yes. Okay, you're the owner? Yes. For $3,000 that you say you are out as a result of them selling you faulty granite? Oh, yes. What happened well, here? I bought it. It was installed. It was beautiful. How long ago? It was three. It'll be three years, September, I believe. Okay. And over time, I noticed that I thought it was getting darker in spots. So after, you know, I took everything off the counters, and it was. So I called, and I spoke to his wife, Cindy, and I told her. And she when goes, you say, I, I took everything off the counter. Well, it, like the coffee maker and the toaster oven, and all that was light gray, and in front of it was all black. So, in other words, when you have been cleaning the counters, you hadn't lifted up those appliances? Oh, well, I did at times, but not as much as you would wipe... Okay. you know, from normal use. Right. So I called Cindy. She said, um, can I send her some pictures? Because she wasn't quite sure what I was talking about. So I sent her the pictures. Do you have them here? Yes. May I see them? I sent her the pictures, and then she called me back and said, um, she sees what I'm talking about. If, we, if I could hold off, you know, of her sending someone over to look at them, because they were very busy over the Christmas holidays. So I agreed. Then in January, I called back and I said, I'm still waiting, it's after the holidays. And finally, after a few more calls, um, her husband, John, came and spoke to my husband. Mm -hmm. And he told him basically that I should take mineral oil to make it all black. Uh, you, wait, make it all black? Yeah, to make it all even, the color. Oh, to even to out the color it. so that yeah. the lighter, where appliances had been, looked more right. than, like the darker. Right, so okay. I called his wife back and I told her that wasn't acceptable. I didn't want black granite, I wanted my light gray. Well, you keep saying black, but it's not black. Well, it's just, no, it's not black. It's, but it's this darker, uh, what is this granite called? That's, uh, I have a piece of it here in, What's it in called? the bag. Caledonia. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's a brownish gray. I, I had this in my kitchen for ten years. I just okay. don't, didn't couldn't remember what yeah. it was called. But um, so it, you didn't want it the darker. You wanted to make the dark the lighter. Exactly. Okay. And then she proceeded to tell me that um, you know, well, they tell all their customers that they have to seal it. And I said, excuse me, you never told me that. All right. What's going on? When they called up, it was around the holidays. We made an appointment to come in after the holidays, so sometime in January. I'm not sure what date it was. When I showed up at her house, I asked, she wasn't home, but I asked her husband, when was the last time you sealed the tops? And he says, we never sealed the tops. I said, because you didn't seal the tops, where they rubbed the counters, where the appliances were, they never really rubbed that, so that seal When you say rub, what do you mean? Well, when they're wiping, wiping? off the counter. Okay. Yes, when they're cleaning the okay. counters off, they're only cleaning in the front. They're not really cleaning where the appliances are. So wherever the appliances were, everything is fine there. So they eventually wore off what sealer we put on there to begin with. Like what were four, you pointing to right now? I have different sealers that they could have used. I have a sample of her stone, and what I actually did was sealed half of a stone and left the other Let half me unsealed. Let me see the half sealed, half unsealed. And what can be done about her issue now? Well, when they originally called me about it, I went out there to look at it because I wasn't sure what was going on. So I wanted to see it myself because she's telling me it was the stone has changed color from one side to the other. 
Oh, this is with no seal. Yeah. And this is with no, seal. No, no, no. They're, they're both. If they're both in the front are sealed. It's just showing that I sealed half of it didn't. So it actually looks. I'm the sorry. Same. Wait. What am I looking at? Because this looks all exactly uniform. Exactly. So when you seal it, it, it will look the same. But if you pour water on it, you'll see one side will soak in the water and the oh. other side won't. Oh, so I you have, want me to do I an experiment. Hold on. So do you have a duty to um, actually seal stuff to, or, or do you have a right to assume that the color won't change? I think you'd be foolish to assume the color won't change. You have to take care of the things you own. So you actually have to take additional steps to, pre to preserve? I think you do. Fair enough. Going inside the courtroom. Now we're talking. <laughs> You'll see that one side will actually darken up more than the other. So it'll actually, uh, over time, it'll absorb whatever you put on the counter without a okay. seal. I know what you're saying is true. I'm just not seeing it here. But okay. um, so you. that was an experiment that failed. <laughs> However, um, all right, so she claims that uh, it's your job to tell her, lady, this is how you maintain a granite countertop. Yes. <clears throat> did you? I believe I did. It was three years ago. Most everybody that we installed, we've been doing it about 30 years now. Most people ask me, how do I take care of my countertop? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do to a countertop? And we pretty much go right down the list. Yeah. I have um, a book that we actually hand out to, to a lot of our contractors. And in here, kind of says right in there, please let your, your customers know they got to seal it. They have to, you got to put a sealer on it. Actually, Okay, so we, you, you, it is your custom to tell people they need to put a sealer. Yes. But here, let me just ask you a question, because most people don't put the sealer, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So, but most people don't care that it darkens, because um, it's beautiful stone, and that's the natural uh, process of stone. That is what occurs. Is it possible to lighten it by, by so, sanding it? So, no, because it wasn't sealed. And if you go to try to do it now, I think in the long run, it would actually cost her more money to remove it because of the cost of the chemicals. Okay. Yeah. What did he do wrong that means you should be able to have a free counter? In his profession, did he fall short of the standards of the profession by uh, assuming what you're saying to be true? Mm -hmm. And he says, I tell all my customers that they need to seal it. But let's just say for a moment he didn't tell you. He didn't. Wouldn't you have asked, like, how do I clean these? How do I maintain these? How do I? So it, it's, you know, there's, it's nothing particularly spe If you put a sentence in, a, in the internet, you'd know the answer. Mm -hmm. So why is this something that he did wrong, even assuming, which he denies, that he never told you that you should seal granite? I actually called and asked after mine was installed, do I need to seal it? And I was told, no, I'm fine. I'm good to go. Do I need By any home. special? Um, his wife, Cindy, the same okay. company. I bought it a year before my mother. I referred my other aunt and uncle. They bought it. They never Did your sealed wife tell, uh, tell her, yeah, you never have to seal that stuff? I was told I doubt it, it was already sealed. I really doubt it. When you purchase hardwood floors, they tell you what products you can and can't use. Wait, on what it. if they don't? Don't you make it your business to find out? I've never had that. Okay, happen. well, you should have made it your business to find out. I don't think the man has to then pay you $3,000 three years later. My verdict in this case is for the defendant. Thank you. So it's the defendant who prevails here in the People's Court. The plaintiff has just come out of the courtroom. I got to believe you're a little upset. Yes, I am. I mean, who would have thought you had to ask someone if you had to seal something that you never knew had to be sealed? Well, so, he claims you knew at the no, beginning. No, I didn't know. No? So, no. Well, I guess you've learned a hard lesson. I guess I did. I'm sorry for That's you. That's okay. Thank you. All right. You. Thank you very much. Our officer has some documents you must sign. Now, Mr. McMorrow, if you'll step out here. Uh, does this kind of thing happen very often? No, this is the first time, actually. Really? In yes. 30 years of in business, 30, first time? Yes. And I guess you're very lucky, but <laughs> obviously you must make sure people know that they see it. Yes. You, and you're convinced you told her. Yes. I said. Well, you prevailed. Congratulations. Thank you. I Good day for it. you in court. Thank, Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> Harvey? Here's the thing. The seller told the customer that it has to be sealed, so case closed.